Hey guys, so I wanted to come to y'all with something that is more of a neutral, everyday type of look, okay? Y'all know I love to do my colorful eyes, my blue eyeshadow, my bow lips, all that jazz, but I know that a lot of y'all are here for the neutral type looks. That's what y'all like to rock. So I wanted to come and show you a quick and easy neutral face, something that is just nice skin, um, a very easy eye, and a nude lip, all right? And y'all know since it is still all black everything February, everything on my face is a black owned brand all right so remember to subscribe like comment all that jazz follow me on all my other social medias they're in the description box and yeah hope you enjoy and here's a tutorial all right so my mic wasn't on but I primed with um, Iman's time control oil under cover oh Iman time control undercover oil control primer all right <laughs> all right so for foundation i'm going to be using skinny dips skinny dip all right and it is the uh, true intentions hydrating foundation okay love this is like my new favorite foundation i love it love 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 it um but I need to, I have to correct. So for me, um, correcting is something that I always do um, just because I do have a few darker marks on my face and it just makes it so that I don't have to use as much foundation, you know? And being that this foundation, it is not, it's a medium coverage foundation, okay? It's not something that is super full coverage so because i don't want to use a ton of it right um i'm going to correct um areas that i need to correct and the corrector i'm using is from koi koi <laughs> eh. koi voca okay and everything i use will be linked down below um, this is probably, this is a really good, um, corrector. It's a deep orange corrector. And for me, I have, sometimes when I have deep orange correctors, they can tend to be a little too orange, if that makes sense. So yeah, this one is really good. So I'm actually going to take a layer of, um, Beauty Bakery's transparent um, flower their translucent powder um, their loose translucent powder and I'm actually going to just press that on top and it's falling all over my shirt so I'm pressing that on top of my face and kind of dusting that in so for me oil is always a big thing right and so I don't know what that, where that came from. And it's all over my shirt. Oh. Okay. So oil is always a big thing for me. And putting down a layer of translucent powder just makes it so that my foundation doesn't give up on me so fast, okay? Y'all have seen my foundation files. If you haven't, I'll link the playlist down below. Um, and so foundation for me is something that will always break down. I have, I only have one brand that I've tried out that doesn't break down on me in a um, 10 to 12 hour day. All right. And so um, putting down this layer of translucent powder, any translucent powder, but y'all know it's all black everything February. So I'm using all black owned brands. So this translucent powder from Beauty Bakery does the job. All right. So I'm taking, I think I'm going to use a brush this time. I haven't used a brush to put this on before. And I'm moving this out the way. So I'm just taking it and putting it on.
So I kind of, the reason why I don't like using brushes for my foundation, I just, ugh, I don't, I don't like it guys. Let me just fix up my eyebrows right quick. Cause, ugh. All right, so foundation is on. As you can see, it's a very natural finish. So some of my marks will be peeking through, but that's okay because every day is not a full coverage type day for me. Um, you know, I can, I'll, I'll be fine using something that is a little bit less coverage. For concealer or highlighting concealer, cause I still do like to give my face dimension. Um, I'm gonna be using Iman's Iman's um, concealing foundation okay and this is in clay one So I do have this mark right here that I'm just gonna kind of try to cover a bit more because I do have some videos to film after this. And this just kind of adds some slight definition to my face. Not a lot, but just a little bit so that, you know, I'm not just so flat okay all right so for my eyes what I've been using for my everyday type face is the beauty bakery coffee and cocoa palette okay um, I go in with a big fluffy brush to this color here lies I take a big fluffy brush into this color Get it close. I take a big fluffy brush into this color here. And I take it all over my lid. Okay, then I go in with this color here. And I take that just on the outer corner. And then I just blend. Okay. Ooh, I forgot to set my concealer, y'all. So, buffing out whatever is left under my concealer. Make sure I'm not going to set anything that has creases in it, okay? And I'm taking Beauty Bakery's flower powder. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. going down the middle of my face and then going back with my same brush dipping into the powder and I'm going to use that as a puff and press it into my skin And I go heavy with the powder because y'all know this is a hydrating foundation. So for me, I need something that will last a bit longer than what I believe this was intended for. 
so that is why I use powder but once I spray my face and everything it'll be fine so I'm just gonna go in and blend out that crease a bit okay and then um, I'm gonna take a kind of fluffier brush and I'm going to go into this color again and I'm gonna bring that all the way up to my brow bone And then for, what's next, what's next? Let's do mascara. I always prime my lashes, okay? And um, of course, I don't have a black owned lash primer. So what I'm using today is Sills Booster from Lancome. For mascara, I'm going to use Beauty Bakery's um, Eyelash Icing. And I do a couple layers of the mascara just because, you know, I'm not wearing any false lashes since this is an everyday type routine and I don't want to look like a naked mole rat. <laughs> so I am going to just kind of layer that up until it gets a little bit um, thick, okay? And I didn't curl my lashes. I don't typically curl my lashes or whatever, so... All right, guys, so for bronzer contour, I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Bakery face palette and I'm going to use it on this kind of brush here. And I don't want to take a lot because surprisingly, this builds up very fast. And I'm just going to put that right there and bring it over. I mean, you see how fast it built up right there. Okay, and for blush, I'm going to use the same palette and I'm going into La Vida Mocha. And very, very slightly, y'all, very slightly. This stuff is extremely pigmented. It's a bit powdery and there is a good amount of kick up. So just keep that in mind. And y'all know I love my blush, so. Okay, and I am going to highlight, all right? And I'm going in with this color here. It's called Your Grounded, okay? very slightly because like I said this stuff is very pigmented and it picks up you can pick up a lot on your brush if you're not um, what you call it paying attention and going into the corner of my eyes that is what is why is that so stiff going into the corner and just adding a little bit of that light there Okay, and then for lips, I'm gonna go in with a minted, I don't know which one. I I bought the lipstick set. I'm not a typical lipstick wearer. Let's use this one. That one looks prettier on camera. So I'm gonna go in with the minted lipstick and it is in Dope Taupe. Okay, and then I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray.
Okay, so that's the basic look. Um, this is my everyday, super easy, super neutral couple products. <laughs> A couple products, um, what you call it, look or whatever. This is what I rock to go to work most days um, if I wear makeup. And I don't always wear makeup. All right. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and all that jazz. Everything is down in the description box and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.